Tara here with you and it's really good to be here with you coming to you live from my home office inside of my home and today's a really exciting day and I'll be sharing with you in just a few small moments as to why that is and uh, so get excited with me because I'm I'm pretty excited about it myself and uh, you know I kind of did a soft launch um, I guess it's been about a year ago now um, yeah about a year and uh, and then I um, started working on some things to really um, build some things out and work on some projects and we're uh, tying up the loose ends on that uh, but it's pretty much good to go at this point and so you'll want to stay tuned uh, regarding that towards the end of the call so uh, don't hop off here on this video because you're gonna miss out on that special announcement and you never know how that can help somebody else so please just make sure you hang in there with me today I'm gonna keep uh, the topic today um, really small short and sweet so that that way I could share that special announcement with you and um, nothing makes me more passionate um, as being a mom and by the way if you're joining us for the first time I just want to say welcome uh, if you continue to join in, I just want to encourage you and say it's really good to have you here. So I'm I'm excited that you're here with me. So thank you so much for that. And um, at any rate, uh, I'm really passionate about being a mom and, and sharing time uh, strategies and secrets because I feel that all of us as moms, you know, we have so much going on in our lives. We have so, so many hats that we're wearing, you know, um, we're trying to get from one thing to the next and... It's like, geez, when can you just breathe and enjoy life just a little bit, right? You know, and so um, it made me really passionate about helping other moms just to find ways to have a quality life, to be able to spend time with their children, and uh, to be able to do things that they really love again, you know, that they don't have to put themselves on hold because they're serving their kids, they're serving their spouse, or, do, or maybe, you know, their partner, whatever that looks like, or maybe they're busy doing other things, right? And so um, I just wanted to share just a couple of tips in the kitchen that your children could be doing, um, depending on their age ranges and such, that they could be doing and utilizing to help you out inside of the kitchen. Um, and so that way things go smooth. And um, what I'll say first is that um, there are some people like myself who just take one day and meal plan it all out all together. It's kind of like one night I may do the grocery and the next day it's just all about the prep and getting everything ready. And my husband, I mean his defense, I give him credit, he may go out on the grill and actually grill something for me. Um, but uh, there are still things that I need to prep and do. And so I just keep things really simple and and kind of just raw, you know, just natural because I want my kids to start getting the hang of the basics. Now, my youngest two are probably a little young to be helping me out in the kitchen. My middle's only three, so, um, but you could start small with small things like having your three or four year old, even maybe like two and a half if they're like a mature two and a half year old. You could actually have them go and uh, get bags um, of whatever you need outside of your refrigerator or bring the fruits or vegetables or what have you. So you can actually start there. You know, items that are lighter that they can bring to you because why it actually helps teach them responsibility and it helps teach them um, to contribute and it teaches them how to be a part of a team. So these are really good um, when I teach my kids how to do stuff, I try to teach principles that I can integrate. So it's not like I'm just blowing things up as a mom boss over here, okay? I'm also passionate about teaching my kids values and things that I would do in my business or in my career or, you know, that I would talk with my husband about. I want to share those same values with my children. I want to raise them with the values that my husband and I were taught. And so um, one of those things is just teaching um, my kids, you know, just basic principles about cooking in the kitchen at this point. Okay. So if you've got like really small children, um, you can have them start there. Okay. Um, they can also, if they know how to cut, that's usually about like five or six. I mean, sometimes it's like four if, if the children are more advanced. You can have them clip the coupons for you while you cut something up in the kitchen. You know, maybe you get coupons collectively. Maybe you don't get them all online 
and uh, they could be going through, um, or you could set aside the coupons that are still good. They could be cutting those and preparing those for you. And if you've got a way of organizing those, you know, maybe you could show them how you do that. You know, start teaching them organization. And the other thing is, um, smaller dishes and things like that can be taken to the sink. Um, or even the dishwasher. Like we were always taught, you put your dishes in the dishwasher. You don't even leave them in the sink. Uh, you rinse them completely off and put them away. Okay, they may be a little small to reach the faucet at, you know, three and four years old. So maybe you, unless they have a step stool, I mean, you can actually encourage them to do that. Um, they can also sort the food for you. Um, you know, they could do small tasks like that. The other thing that they can do is, um, you can have them do is um, help you get uh, small ingredients out of the cupboard, out of the pantry, out of the refrigerator, aside from the fruits and vegetables. So that's another something that they can do. Okay. Or you can have them organize the pantry. You can show them how you want it done and the levels that they can reach. They can start helping you to do those things. Okay. Um, now talking a little older, more like the six or seven range, they could start helping you peel the vegetables. So if, if you want the peel off, like if you're making smoothies or you're making recipes that require you to take the skin off of something, okay, or to do a lot of chopping, you could slowly start teaching them how to um, cut certain items. Um, I don't encourage meat so much because I think it's a little bit more of an advanced skill set because you have to use sharper knives. Um, but you could definitely teach them how to use a peeler or how to use a peeling knife. And um, so you could be having, you know, someone sorting, especially if you've got like multiple kids, you could have somebody sorting, you could have somebody um, peeling, and then you could have, um, you know, somebody that's more um, advanced, maybe one of your older kids, you could start having them, you know, put the ingredients together in the skillet or in the pot, that kind of thing. And uh, teach them how to, you know, start working the stove at about, you know, 9 or 10, maybe 11. And um, you can have them start doing just basic things to help you out. Now, I'm not saying just leave them to do this on their own and use of the ingredients out and walk away. No, you need to be present and actually teach them and guide them and walk through with them these principles. Um, but there's no reason why you should be preparing long meals for the week completely on your own unless you have like real itty bitty children you know they can start showing initiative and responsibility and help you out in the kitchen so if you're already not already implementing that you know and you have a kid that's on their social media a whole bunch i'm not trying to make anybody feel bad um but if you've got a child particularly that watches like a lot of media or um they're spending uh, a lot of time with their friends and things of the like you know um, if they're, you know, um, into a lot of other things, maybe you can kind of re-steer and re-guide them. And it's, it's really good too, because it's, I feel like it's really excellent quality time between you and them that you can bond and you could share in that experience and you could really connect with them. So I feel like this is a really important time. You know, this is time you could talk about other things. You could learn new skill sets. You can laugh together. You can make it fun and turn on music and have dance parties. We've been known to do that before in our house. Um, my oldest, she loves having little jobs. So I'm always giving her things um, that she can do to help us. Um, and actually, it's, it's quite helpful. One of her favorite tasks is actually um, she likes to take the ends off of the green beans for me since I buy them fresh and she prepares them for me that way while I cooking on the stove several other things. So, um, it's incredibly helpful to have her help in the kitchen and something that she enjoys doing. And that's another thing. If you notice that you have a child that's taking a particular interest in helping out in the kitchen and learning how to cook, start teaching them those little skills and principles you know really watch them especially with cutlery you know with knives especially you know you want to make sure you're right there to guide them and correct like if they're not cutting right you know you obviously want to be there to kind of redirect that a little bit but um you know start giving them some independence that way and teaching them because i feel like um in the world and society today it's it's so hectic and stressful because these kids are so bright and they're so smart and they are capable of having all these great jobs but when it comes to the basic responsibilities 
Um, not all the kids know how to manage and have balance in all of these areas. So it's really good. And um, it helps you to stay grounded and connected with them and just, you know, instill some of these things while still having fun and bonding and connecting with them. And what parent and child doesn't want that? So I hope that these few tips have helped you in some way. I told you, I promised you, see, I promised you I was going to keep this really short and I did it. I'm excited about that. <laughs> I know sometimes I get a little long-winded, so I, I'm working on that too. We're all a work in progress. So I just show up, I do these, and whoever they're meant to go to, they go to, and that's that, right? So I just trust the process, and I trust that as we continue to do these, they're going to get better and better, and, um, and I'm okay with that. I'm good with that if you're good with that. So at any rate, I do have a really important... Um, announcement that I wanted to connect with you on. So thank you for sticking this thing out with me. And um, that special announcement is, um, so I've been using, let me kind of explain it for a second. I've been using a system now for about a year and a half. And um, you know, when you really want to grow a set of skill sets and a desire gets put on your heart, it's really time to invest into that skill set. Okay, and it's really time to grow and to glean from that experience and to take the necessary steps. And, you know, let me just share, hey, it's it's not always convenient, okay, um, but it's always worth it. You know, it's always, always worth it, especially if you're working with somebody who's uber, super trusted in what they do. You know, if you see somebody that really has results that you're actually really looking for it is worth every dime and penny of that and then some because a lot of times if you get a really good uh, mentor and coach they'll actually integrate additional training um, that they're actually not charging you for and here's the thing like I know my uh, mentor and coach that I hired I will tell you that they spent tens of thousands of dollars on their education and they're giving it away at like a fraction of the cost that they paid for that. They made that investment so they could help multitudes of people and making it more affordable. And this mentor that I had originally sought out, um, she's very credible. I followed her for a few years. I really watched her results and um, she had all the qualities that I was looking for. You know, she's the mom, she was married. She wanted to blow up multiple businesses. <laughs> And she did, man. She really did. It's, it's been awesome. And, and uh, she's helped so many countless people. And uh, she has good, you know, biblical, scriptural beliefs and concepts, which are very important for me. They may not be to you. That's cool. Um, but for me, that, that was something that was like a deal breaker. I really needed that, um, you know, to, in order to be guided appropriately. And, um, you know, I've been working for myself for close to 11 years now. Um, but it seemed like even though I had incredible leadership with two of my children being special needs, I really did need to find a way to work smarter, not necessarily harder. Okay. And this leadership did teach that. Okay. I won't take that from them. And I, I learned so much and I mean, they encouraged me in my beginning years and they gave me more valuable tools and training than I'll ever know what to do with. They were just that phenomenal. The leadership and the, most of the leadership actually is still there and they're, they're just amazing. They just have a heart to serve people. So it wasn't because of that. It wasn't because it wasn't a great company, but it was just because there were skills in areas that I wanted to acquire. Um, that that didn't seem to be there. The systems were already in place and I actually wanted to learn how to design my own company. I actually, um, you know, I couldn't figure out for the longest time why I was actually getting frustrated and why I felt like agitated with my life. And um, I wanted to grow, but I just felt like I couldn't get to that next level. And I saw all these people, you know, they were killing it, man. They were building their online um, you know, uh, branding and their social medias were taking off. I'm like, what are they doing? Because that's exactly what I want, right? So I watched this coach and mentor closely. And then when I saw she was teaching people how to do it, I just 
I didn't even ask her. I just stayed in prayer. <laughs> but but the Lord had really laid her on my heart. Her particular name was highlighted to me. And he, he told me that I would be working with her. And um, she just must have had my name highlighted because she reached out to me too. But it wasn't until a little bit later on. And so we eventually connected. We worked together very closely um, for the next year and a half or so. You know, I was learning everything that it took to to build my audiences, okay, to really get my posts engaged, to really connect with people, um, to reach out more than just to my close, close networks. You know, I wanted to reach out to new people I hadn't had a chance to connect with. I really wanted to expand business, okay? I really um, wanted to shorten my hours and I didn't wanna go chasing after people because Right? Who really wants to chase after people? I wanted people to just genuinely come to me. You know, I really wanted to be in charge of what that looked like. You know, um, I wanted to have deeper connecting relationships. And um, it's funny because the other day I actually found <laughs> this legal document that I had drafted from 2014. So this vision has been in me for a very long time. And that vision, I'm going to share with you guys, has been to coach. That's right, I'm actually opening up, and I've prayed about this, this was not an easy decision for me to make. You know, first of all, I have to explain to you, my time is just super limited right now. Um, and, you know, I've got three small girls, I love them to pieces, but, um, you know, I've also got a home to manage, and um, I've got other clients that I was already helping with different things previously. And I've coached several times in the past, but I know the dedication and commitment that it takes for planning things out for you because I'm not somebody that just hops on the phone and takes a call, okay? I'm somebody that really genuinely prays about who I'm supposed to be aligned with. And just because it looks good doesn't necessarily mean that we're supposed to connect. Like, I really um, have got to know that it's going to be a good fit and that the Lord genuinely wants me to help you because I want people that are deadly serious about getting the results that they're looking for, you know, about not going around the financial mountain again, about not staying trapped where they are, about, you know, getting freed from just, just the financial pits that they're in, you know, getting free from whatever is keeping them down and is keeping them stuck, you know? Um, and a lot of people, um, they want to be organized. They want those time management skills. But you know what? Honestly, um, they wouldn't know the first thing about having time management. They don't stick to calendars. They don't stick to schedules. Um, they don't even, heck, half the time people don't even listen to the reminders in their phones that they set. Okay? They let other things take priority and get in the way. Why? Because I've seen all of this when I've coached. I saw all of it when I trained people how to build their businesses. I've been helping people build businesses for 11 plus years now. It's just that now I have an edge because now I've learned how um, to create branding, you know? And in the past, I didn't want to, I was frustrated because I didn't want to hide in the shadow of somebody else's wings. I knew that I was supposed to stand out. I knew that I had something big in me. I just didn't know how to go about it. I needed somebody that was going to mentor me and guide me and steer me in that direction and teach me the ropes. And be patient with me as I learned. And then to also kick my butt when I needed it. Because sometimes I can be a little stubborn. And I've ran into that with coaching too. In fact, in order to work with me, you've got to be really teachable and really coachable. Because I'm not messing around. Okay? Time is really precious. I want like two or three, maybe four. And slots are limited because I, I'll tell you what. I've already booked up this last week. I have people coming to me even before I went public with this. Okay? So I've already been booking and connecting with people. So, um, I, in fact, I don't even know how I have a couple spots still left and open because, I mean, I, I've had a lot of like engagement. I've had a lot of people come to me and say, hey, I need help, especially building up my business. I really wanna expand. I can't figure out why I'm not hitting and breaking that next level. I really need help with my time management. My kids are in all these activities and I have this business. It's like, I can't even get to my business because you know, all these things keep getting in the way or life is happening and I, can't, I feel like I can't breathe and I can't catch a break and um, I know I need to increase my income. I know the job that I'm in, I don't want to stay here forever. You know, I really want to be able to branch out and expand, but I just can't figure out what this block is, okay? That's why I'm here, okay? That's why I'm here because sometimes we just cannot see digging out of the pit ourselves, 
okay? And so we need somebody that's going to come alongside of us. Sometimes we need to hire somebody to help us get out of those spots, okay? And it's not that I'm going to remove the block for you. No, listen, you're going to show up and you're going to do the work. In order to work with me, we're going to do the work together, okay? You want results? How serious are you? Are you going to talk about getting results or are you going to actually take the steps that are necessary in order to do that? Because here's the thing. I'm really praying this thing out with you, okay? And I'm really praying about who I'm connecting with. And I'm really serious, okay? But I can all say all these things and I could show up. But if you don't show up, then we've got nothing, okay? We've got nothing to build on. So I really need to know that you're really serious about showing up, um, that you're serious about going after your breakthrough, whether that's, you know, um, personally, financially, relationally, but if you're looking for a way, listen, to um, get those time management skills organized, you know, to have more time freedom, to have a quality of life back, to never have to worry about your finances again, um, to be able to create and dominate your social media and to really um, do it in a way that's honoring and to um, attract people to our to our business and, what, and the opportunities and the products and the services that we have to share because some of you all have incredible, amazing products and services that you wanna share, that you really wanna get out there, that you personally believe in, um, but it's just a matter of how. How do I reach those people more effectively? How do I really grow it in a way that I'm not nagging them, that I'm not you know, um, chasing them down, but that they're really coming to me and that I'm really able to serve them um, in a way that is meaningful and that's truly relational where we're building bridges with others instead of walls. And that's really a servant's heart. And if that's you, that's really the person that I'm looking to connect with. And if you're really serious about, you know, building your social media and building your business and growing it and you want to increase your engagements, you want to increase your audience, you really want to take your business to the next level. You really want to use your social media to be able to do it. You want to be able to free up your time. You want to be able to create systems in place that are scheduling and doing content for you and doing things for you so that you can focus on the actual connecting process. You're exactly who I really do want to work with, okay? If you are serious about increasing your income, maybe even doubling or tripling it in half the time, now, it's not an overnight get rich process, but if you stay dedicated and you show up and you work that process and you're willing to do what it takes to invest into yourself and to get yourself to that next level, you and I, we really need to personally connect. And if you're just now hopping on here, um, this was really huge because like I said, I'm looking to coach maybe three to four people on how to be able to do just that. But like I said, I've already been booking out and spots are super limited because of my time as a mom. Okay, because I teach balance and time management and I want you to practice that because I'm not going to teach anything that I don't practice personally. That's just not how I am. So um, if you are really deadly serious and you're tired of being stuck in a rut and going around in circles and nothing else has been working for you or you're spinning your wheels and you're not sure what next steps to take or you're just frustrated with where your business is at and you really want to grow it to that next level, go back watch the replay all the way through. Here is what I'm going to do for you. Okay. Here's what I need for you to do though. I am going to give you some instructions. If this is you and you want to connect, maybe you're on the fence still. Maybe you're curious about it. Maybe you want to learn a little bit more about it. Maybe you're gung ho and all ready to jump in. Okay. Either way that we look at this. Okay. There are some instructions I need for you to follow so you can get into my schedule. It's real simple though. Okay. It won't take long at all. So do me a favor. Okay, I'm going to leave my information in the comment section, okay? I need for you, okay, to, first of all, I'm going to leave a link. I need for you to click on that and fill out your name and your email address, okay? And it'll take you to a video. I need for you to watch that video. It is super, I promise you guys, it's like easy peasy, super short. Okay, watch it. And then there will be a button that says fill out application. I need for you to click on that. There's a small survey, it should take you no more than two to three minutes to fill out. Fill it out, okay? And then once you've done that, I will get a notification on my end saying that you filled that survey out, okay? And then I'll take a look at it, I'll reach out to you, we'll get in touch, we'll schedule a time 
that you could get it on my calendar, okay? And then we can, um, you know, do a time that works for the both of us, okay? And then in addition to that, right below that link, okay, there's going to be another little link. Click on it, enter in your name and your email, and then get on my subscriber list that way too. And then that way you're going to be receiving um, free content from me. I don't make any money off of it at all. It's just my heart and some things that I really have wanted to share with you personally. So um, definitely make sure that you click on that because I want to be able to connect with you personally that way as well. Okay. And um, I just want to say uh, it's just been such a pleasure and an honor to connect with you. And I really do look forward to hearing from you especially if you're serious, if you're really serious about overcoming that financial hurdle once and for all, you're serious about the time management and the things that continue to get in the way that have kept you from really growing um, your social media, your contacts, your audience, you know, whatever that looks like, let's, let's do it together. I really want to help you to achieve that next level. And sometimes we just can't have that breakthrough and we really can't do that thing alone. So we need to really be able to connect personally in order to hit it to that next level. Um, so if that's you and that's where you're at and you, you're ready and you want to learn more, like I said, fill out the information. I'm going to leave that information in the comment section. Make sure you listen here to this video again. You fill out those steps. I just listed what they are. Okay, make sure that you're putting in your name. Make sure that you fill out your email. Make sure that you watch the video. Make sure you click on fill out application. Make sure you enter your name and your email again, and that way you get on the subscriber list, okay? Take those steps so that you and I can get together and we can decide if this is going to be a good fit for the, for the both of us. I look forward to seeing you on the other side. I totally believe in you. I look forward to connecting with you and yay for coaching because this is a very needed field, especially in social media and time management, especially in the business world, especially when a business is a vehicle to really help others to be able to give back to the community, to be able to feed orphans or get people out of the sex trafficking trade or, you know, um, to be able to fund just causes and, and opportunities that you really truly believe in, you know, to be able to get yourself out of that debt, to be able to live your highest quality life yet. That's exactly where I want to take you so that you're stress-free, that you have more time freedom, you have your quality of life back, and most importantly, you're living a life that's worth living. I look forward to seeing you on the other side. Take care. Have a great rest of your day. Bye for now.